Once you're done with part placement, you can now start routing your connections. It's often nice to turn off part selection by clicking on the part icon located in the picker filters located in the lower right of the window. Before you start routing, notice that all the unrouted yellow connections, called a rat's nest, are represented as yellow lines. To start a route, simply click on one of these connections and the tool will immediately create a new route using the default trace width and spacing. Note, while still in routing mode, you can right click and choose to change a new width and spacing. During a route, the default routing angle is 45 degrees but you can hold down the control key to override this and route at any angle. When you get close to finishing a route, you can simply double click to finish the connection. To route on different layers, change the layers by pressing T for top, B for bottom, or 1, 2, 3, etc. for internal 1, internal 2, internal 3, and so on. Once a route is placed, it is easy to rip up a segment. Simply hover over the segment and click. This will remove the current segment and allow you to reroute it as needed. You can also move a segment by hovering over it and performing a click drag operation. To delete a segment, hover over and press the delete key on your keyboard. To change the width of an existing net or segment, hover over and right click. Note the net width is for the entire trace and the segment width is for a single section. Oftentimes, you want to start a route but not complete it. This is called a fanout. To enable a fanout, simply start a route and then right click and choose fanout via here or press the F key on your keyboard. During routing, you can change your grid setting by pressing G to select the grid resolution setting in the upper left, and then press Enter to resume routing.